yeah, Galvino, why don't you go back to Stalwart? Oh, there's a side I'd rust my joints to see. Enough! I shall speak no more of that damned village. A watcher? Diverus? If this is true, then you could find a sole descendant from Durgan's battery, no question. But the greater difficulty remains. You would have to learn the Kantek from the dormant soul. And to do that, you would have to awaken it. Oh, yes. Whoever you awaken will live with the memories and the personality of a past life. Maybe peacefully, maybe not. That is why you must pay attention to the soul you would awaken, no? It is a uh, monumental thing to impose on another, but these are the very people who wish to rediscover the White Forge, Verus. An awakening is merely the jolting of a dormant soul into consciousness. When such things happen normally, it is because something has reminded the subject of a past life, often violently so. Thus, to awaken one of the former dwarves of Durgan's battery, you will need to address that soul, and preferably by name. But show some care when you examine these souls, whatever it is you watchers do. You may see images, memories. These are moments of special import. What you see will tell you much about the person, and perhaps the condition in which they awaken. Awaken them from a traumatic memory, and who knows? Maybe they awaken thirsty for blood. Or maybe you awaken someone else. <laughs> Here, this has been tuned to the Aeon of Durgan's battery. Use it near the villagers, and it should tell you if one has a soul old enough to have come from the battery. Who can say? None have yet opened Durgan's battery. But... The ones that came before you, I think they got close. You may wish to find them and see what they discovered. Most interesting. They spent many days at the battery door. This looks like something that once belonged there. It is a pleasure to have such a courteous guest for a change. A shame you must dirty your boots in Stalwart. I'm going with him. You? Go to Starward? Is this your macabre sense of humor, or uh, has something gone to rust in that beautiful head I crafted? No one will bother me while I'm with him. Besides, I can help him find people in Starward. You? You haven't been to Starward in thirteen years. And this watcher sees souls. What help could you be? Besides, I have need of you here. You owe whatever remains of your wicked life to me. <laughs> this charming specimen is a convicted murderer. <coughs> the Devil of Carrick, she's called. Mighty fine of you to start with my good qualities, and you wonder why we don't get more visitors. Killed over a dozen people before they finally caught up to her in Stalwart. Perfect company for lonely camps and mountain passes, no? Hey, I know how to start a campfire. The only reason she's not a frozen corpse is because I convinced the old mayor to let me try an experiment. Into a work of art! Look at this! Craftsmanship worthy of a jeweler! Fully articulated joints, capable of grasping a pen and writing her own name. And of crushing your throat. Show me another smith anywhere in the Deerwood who is capable of such delicacy and precision. She is a masterpiece. Why build a fortress, or a village, or anything? To make something that keeps, that... Uh... 
It was the early days of the legacy. My peers in the colleges of animancy were filling the hollowborn with the souls of animals. I thought there was a better way. One with a plum academy job back in Salona? Don't forget that part. She committed her first crime in the village of Karak. Burned their family alive in their home. Did the same thing in half a dozen other villages, but their name stuck. Ah, uh, here we go. They were going to stone her anyway. Why not allow her to be put to some useful purpose? My life's ambition. To serve somebody's useful purpose. I approached Mayor Sinahiyod and begged. He saw the potential and allowed me the privilege of attempting my little experiment. Then I accomplished what few Hanamancers have even dreamed of. No academic support, no patron. Just me in the middle of nowhere. Oh, now you got them all wound up. I transferred a fully intact soul from a living subject to a fabricated body. She retained her personalities, her memories, all of it. Yet the villagers saw only a stolen corpse. She may be mad, but she's no fool. She wouldn't survive long on her own. If the villagers didn't send a hunting party after her, the elements would claim her. Her joints and mechanisms require maintenance, and she cannot perform all of it herself. See, he's reminding me, in case I get any bright ideas. She's a fine specimen, her personality notwithstanding. Que? No, 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 you don't know what you ask. This woman, the Devil of Karak, she was a notorious murderer, burned people alive all over the region. Besides, she works for me. After all, I am the one who preserved her. So you get use of the devil's services, and I get the satisfaction of knowing those stiffnecks are sweating through their small clothes, eh? Hmm. It's a deal. <laughs> Fine price for a blacksmith striker. Suppose I should be flattered. And there you have it. A bargain. A moment. You are going back to Stalwart, yes? Perhaps you could do me a favor. Slow and silent. Yes. As you wish. The devil has not scorched you yet, eh? Perfetto. As would I, but there is little to tell. But they seem to know more about the battery than the others. Which is unusual, because they did not seem like typical adventurers. Their hands were smooth and marked with ink, not scars. And they traveled light. Unusually so. Something else? Quay. The other projects, they are none of your concern. Feels dark. <clears throat> For years I've been trying to create another like the Devil of Carrick. Yet those post enacos in Star Wars destroyed my machinery. Now I can only create these broken, mindless things. The Devil remains my most perfect creation. Smugglers, slavers, fugitives, the kind of riffraff that passed this way. Rarely missed, and good work to keep my little devil busy. I can't present the devil of Carrick to the academies, can I? A mad woman and a murderer? No. I need to bring a success to the republics.
I'll see it done. On the hunt. What is it? Hey. As you wish. They gone? Have those nasty brutes finally left? I heard the ogres outside. Tearing down walls and murdering folk. Don't remember how things got this bad. But you're the new adventurer. Renengild's latest volunteer. <laughs> A real spitfire, she told me. Bet you'd whip those layabouts at the mine into shape. Did you say something, dear? Me? I was the overseer at the mine, back when it was running. Got shut down decades ago when we couldn't sell or ship the stuff. But I still remember plenty about the mining business. And I got as many folk as I can digging out the entrance. Been praying to the salty wench that I don't forget too much before they finish the job. Got to speak up? Got to speak up? Sinove, please. If we go now, we can get behind the barricade. We, we won't do any good here. We're gonna go down fighting. Anyone who feels differently can settle it with me right now. That name. It carries memories of death, war, fury, the taste of blood. What do you want with it? What trickery is this, stranger? You think a Pargrin would so easily betray her own people? You speak like one who knows me. Then you're not one of Zoltan's visiting merchants or Exandru's foreign zealots. You're one of us. Did I nod off? My, but I had the strangest dream. So much work to be done. Pardon me, but I'd better check on those miners. At the rate they're going, it'll be another year before they clear that blazing shaft. 